Welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at how to get information on global connection of electronic devices known as the internet using search engines and then getting information from academic databases. And uh, after that, we are going to be looking at information literacy. Such engines are software that help to find information on the internet or a database. Such engines are basically indexes of websites where a user or a visitor to the internet can get needed information. Examples include Google, Yahoo, Alta Vista, Devil Finders, and so on and so forth. Academic databases are storehouse of academic information resources, such as journals and books. Examples of academic databases include EBSCOhost, African Journal Online, ProQuest, Research for Life, Elsevier, which some we call Science Direct, Lazis, Nazis for Law, and so on. To search a, a search engine on an academic database, you really need to plan your search using any of the available search strategies. We have the natural language search strategy and we have the Boolean system search strategy. Uh, for natural language, you just put in all your search terms in the search engine. For example, in Google, you type in all your words then Google will give you websites where you can get your information. For Boolean system, you use Boolean operators. And in this case, you just use your keywords in what you want to search for. You bring out the keywords and then use Boolean operators to combine them. Uh, step for effective searching, you have to identify your keyword and use them as search terms. You uh, use Boolean operators, just like I've said. You use quotation mark where necessary. You refine your search with filter or advanced search features. So most especially academic databases, they have advanced search features that will allow you to streamline your search and get accurate results. You have to be proactive with search results. Sometimes you need to bookmark your results so that you don't forget where you got your uh, uh, search result from. Uh, you ask questions uh, when, when you need to. Don't uh, waste your time, your precious time, on what you don't know. You sometimes ask questions. Now for information literacy. Information literacy is the ability to identify, locate, evaluate, and use information effectively and ethically. Ethically means that you try to avoid uh, copyright issues, violation of copyright and all that. And you can see on the diagram there's what we call the knowledge paradigm, uh, where you start from data, data will give you information, information will give you knowledge, and knowledge will give you uh, wisdom. Uh, Information literacy encompasses digital literacy, visual literacy, computer literacy, and cyber uh, literacy. So for the library, which an information uh, source within an academic setting, the library can make available services uh, to users, ICT services, and some of them are listed here. Current awareness services, uh, institutional repository and local content services, internet connectivity and computers, website access to uh, uh, library services. So these are what the library can give. Um, please watch out for more videos uh, on this channel. Thank you for visiting uh, my channel.